is Meghan Markle manifesting again? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced that they'll be making two new shows with Netflix, but Netflix hasn't officially announced the cooking show or Paulo series. Is Meghan simply suggesting ideas and hoping they'll be accepted, as she often does? There's also mention that Archwell has to create these shows and then leave it up to Netflix to approve them. Will they ever make it to air? It's doubtful that there's much interest in Meghan's twist on toast or Harry's polo adventures. While polo may be enjoyable for some, it's a niche interest that may not appeal to a broad audience. It's curious how she's prematurely announcing upcoming business ventures without the certainty of these structures being established. It seems she's apprehensive about potential developments and is hastily setting up revenue streams. There's definitely something brewing. The hasty release of the poorly constructed web page and unclear videos seems like a direct response to someone or something, probably Netflix rejecting the lifestyle cooking show. It's like that what she shared was her attempt to entice them with a teaser, showcasing her supposed fabulous idea only to be met with disinterest. Initially, we believed a rushed business launch was due to Catherine's actions, but a cancer announcement followed just days after Meghan's Orchard debut. It seems that she was deeply upset with Netflix and perhaps anticipated gaining 100 million views within 24 hours, hoping this would prompt Netflix to reconsider. Now she's claiming to step back from additional business launches, either to show respect for Catherine's illness or to blame Catherine for the lack of interest in a business. Choose whichever excuse you prefer, there are likely more to come. Currently, there's no official confirmation from Netflix. Archwell has only provided notice that they're producing these shows with two different production companies, along with images of a crew filming at the polo event for Centerbell. Additionally, there's footage of Harry in Hawaii and Meghan in Uvalde, none of which has ever appeared in any show. They still have a movie to produce. Whatever became of Meet Me at the Lake, it was announced last August and, since then, there's been nothing but silence. No director or screenwriter has been announced, no casting has taken place. Considering the money spent to acquire the rights, this should be their top priority. Netflix might see this as the final straw and use it as a solid reason to cut ties. If they continue to delay production, Netflix could very well bid them farewell, having reached their limit. In her latest book, Lady C suggests that Netflix waited for the final series of The Crown to air before severing ties with Harry and Meghan, likely to prevent any potential criticism from Prince Harry. Netflix probably threatened to sue them for breach of contract and is taking a wait-and-see approach. Most likely, both series will be minimal effort garbage and never even make it into post-production. In 2020, the couple signed a five-year deal with the platform to produce content, with their biggest hit being their documentary series Harry and Meghan, which lifted the lid on the relationship and their time in the royal family. With the deal with Netflix set to expire in 2025, there had been speculation over what Harry and Meghan could do next if their contract is not renewed.